McDonald's of Effingham and Coles County are WEIU-TV's exclusive supporter of the Coles County Clash Scholastic Bowl. McDonald's of Effingham and Coles County are proud of all the contestants in this program. Enjoy the show from your friends at McDonald's of Effingham and Coles County. Welcome to Eastern Illinois University's sixth annual Coles County Clash Academic Edition. The uh, original, I think, and best of the Coles County Clashes, even though the football one has been going on for a little bit longer. Um, the first airing of this will be tomorrow at noon, or sorry, Saturday at noon on WEIU. So on behalf of President Jay Gaitrell and all of the leadership here at Eastern Illinois University. Welcome to the teams, their family, friends, supporters, and staff. I'm Dr. Richard England, Dean of the Sandra and Jack Pine Honors College, and I have been honored to host this before, so I see some familiar faces among the players and in the audience. I'm going to briefly explain the rules, introduce the teams, and we'll get started with two 20-minute halves. So, the teams on the right, we have Mattoon. In, uh, on my left, we have Charleston. We'll start by asking the Mattoon players to buzz in and introduce themselves, and their captain will introduce their coach. Go ahead. It's Connor Gergany. I'm the captain for Mattoon High School varsity class wheel team. Our coach is Mr. A, and my teammates will introduce himself from left to right. James Connett. Lincoln Wheeler. Robert Hawking. Judy Connett. Thank you very much. And Charleston, let's do the same with you. I am John I'm John Peterson. I am the I am a senior and the captain of the Charleston varsity squash basketball team. My teammates will be introducing themselves from my left to my right with their favorite Disney princess, mine being Nick Wilde. My name is Danner Van Heis. I'm a sophomore, and my favorite Disney princess is Wreck-It Ralph. My name is Blaine Homan. I'm a junior, and my favorite Disney princess is Cinderella. My name is Josie Worley. I am a junior, and my favorite Disney princess is Blaine Homan. My name is Alex Kirigescu, and my favorite Disney princess is Gaston. All right, I'm going to assume that you've heard of some of those. Okay. We are going to have two 20-minute halves. There will be no powers. There will be five seconds to answer the questions based on the atomic clock in my brain, and uh, three seconds for rebounds. The uh, bonuses will go to first to the team that has answered the toss-up correctly, uh, but if they miss them, the other team will have a chance. There'll be 10 points given for each correct answer, and if all goes according to plan, the numbers behind me should change accordingly. Um, each team will have two uh, timeouts, which the coaches can call, and that will stop the clock, and there'll be a little bit of a chance to uh, reorganize things as the coaches wish. So. Without further ado, we're all signed in, all your buzzers are off, we are ready to go with the first toss-up question. <coughs> Less than 50 of these features were seen during a 28-year period called the Maunder Minimum. These features occur where high magnetic flux inhibits convection, lowering the... Charleston. Sunspots. Sunspots is correct. So Charleston gets the first crack at these bonus questions. For 10 points each, oops, 
hit the wrong button there, for 10 points each, answer the following about the acronym CRT. This educational paradigm, which foregrounds the intersectional nature of racism, is known by the acronym and has recently become a much debated political issue. Critical race theory. Critical race theory is correct. CRT can also denote the type of therapy provided by many pacemakers, which help keep this human organ functioning. The heart. The heart is correct. Finally, CR stands for these two words when CRT is used to identify the electron-emitting vacuum tube that was a component of most 20th century TV sets. Cathode ray. Cathode ray is correct. Okay, a good start there, Charleston. On to the next toss-up question. This man's debate with Comte Buffon over New World degeneracy influenced his orders for the Red River expedition. This president formed the core of discovery. Expeditions by Zebulon Pike and Lewis and Clark were ordered by what president who made the Louisiana Purchase? Charleston. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is correct. Okay, on to the next set of bonuses that Charleston has the first crack at. Carbons with one of these bonds, often sp2 hybridized, are often sp2 hybridized, for 10 points each. Name these four electron bonds consisting of a sigma bond and a pi bond. Alkenes are defined as having one of these bonds between two carbons. Answer? Ionic. No, that's incorrect. Mattoon? Answer? Covalent. I'm afraid, no, there are double bonds. All right, on to the next bonus. This term is used to describe molecules depicted with alternating single and double bonds. Ring-shaped molecules of this type may be aromatic. Answer? Pyrenes. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Mattoon? Answer? No answer? Okay, the answer was conjugated. All right, finally, this simplest aromatic compound's ring structure allegedly came to August Kekulé in a dream. Its formula is C6H6. Answer? Methane. No, I'm afraid it's not methane. Mattoon? You've got an answer? No answer, I'm afraid that was benzene. All right, moving on to the next toss-up question. This figure angered a goddess into throwing her burning fingernails at him in a ploy to bring fire to humanity. This mythical figure used his grandmother's jawbone to create the North Island of New Zealand. What Polynesian hero's name? Matun. Maui. Maui is correct, well done. Okay, so Matun, you get the first crack at this set of bonus questions. Heavy fog often covers this area due to the interaction of the warm Gulf Stream and the cold Labrador Current. For 10 points each, give the two-word name of this North Atlantic marine region that is a significant fishing ground. The Flemish Cap is to its east. Answer? The English Channel? No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Charleston? Cape Cod? No, I'm afraid that's not correct. It's the Grand Banks. All right, next is the bonus set. The Grand Banks are off the southeastern coast of this Canadian island, which forms a namesake province with Labrador. Newfoundland? Newfoundland is correct. By some reckonings, the Grand Banks extend south to George's Bank, a marine plateau that is to the east of this large cape in southeastern Massachusetts. Answer? No, I'm afraid no answer there. Charleston? Cape Cod? Yes, that was Cape Cod. Right. Okay. You just keep on those old answers sometimes. Sometimes they come back to you. All right. Next toss-up. On her wedding night, this protagonist learns that Retty Priddle has tried to drown herself. Angel Clare marries this dairy maid, whose reputation suffers after she is assaulted by Alec. 
In a Thomas Hardy novel, what title woman claims descent from the D'Urbervilles? No, no answer. It is Tess, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. If you want to read a depressing novel, I recommend it to you. All right, next toss up. This is the northern of two countries that contains the Pripyat River, a portion of which is in the an exclusion zone. Its city of Vitebsk was the birthplace of Marc Chagall. Europe's last dictator, Alexander Lukashenko, is the president, Charleston. Belarus. Belarus is correct. All right, next set of bonuses. Charleston has the first crack at these. This artist's race riot series consisted of colored silkscreen prints of Charles Moore's photographs of police dogs attacking civil rights marchers in Alabama. For 10 points each, name this artist who included 50 headshots of Marilyn Monroe in his Marilyn diptych. Answer? Warhol. Warhol is correct. Warhol included a band reading Great as a Sauce 2 in Cheddar Cheese, one of his 32 paintings depicting cans of this food product. Soup. Uh, I can accept that. It says, un accept any underlined portion. It was Campbell's soup, in fact. But soup is, is correct. All right, finally, Warhol's other consumer product themed work included a painting of 112 empty green bottles designed to hold this product. Beer? Answer. No, that is not correct. High school students answering beer. All right, Matoon? Need an answer? Take a guess. Soda. I uh, can't take soda. Can you be more specific? Sprite. <laughs> not Sprite. <laughs> Although I think in the Sprite plant it's Coca Cola. It's green Coca Cola bottles, maybe that's just beyond your ken. Okay. All right, moving on. Next is the next toss up question. These drugs are ineffective against so called escape organisms because of genes obtained by horizontal gene transfer. Excessive use of broad spectrum examples of these drugs has led to. Charleston. Antibiotics. Antibiotics is correct. All right. Pencil and paper ready. So, Charleston, this is the bonus set. Charleston has the first crack at these, but Mattoon, get your pencil and paper ready too. You may have a chance to answer them. For 10 points each, answer these questions involving the number 12. How would the base 10 number 30 be rendered in base 12? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is not correct. Mattoon? Twenty-six. Twenty-six is correct. All right. What name is given to a polygon with 12 sides? Dodecahedron. Um, not, a, not a hedron. No, I'm afraid not. Mattoon? Dodecagon. Dodecagon is, is the answer I've got here. I think a dodecahedron has to do with the D&D, yeah. &D, 12 sided dice. Anyway, I, hear, I feel you, okay. What is the quotient of 12 factorial divided by 10 factorial? You have 10 seconds. Answer? Uh, 132. That is correct. Very good, all right, moving on to the next toss up question. In 1854, Madame Tussauds, oh, I'm sorry, I've got the thing there. All right, sorry about that. In 1854, Madame Tussauds acquired a real portion of this device from a descendant of Charles Sanson. A doctor named Joseph Ignace invented this device, which was used in a square now known as the Place de la Concorde. For 10 points, what device was used to execute Marie Antoinette? Charleston. Guillotine. The guillotine, correct. All right, Charleston, you have the first crack at these ones, this bonus set, for 10 points each. Answer the following about long-serving foreign ministers. Edvard Benesch spent 27 years at this, as this country's foreign minister. In the Munich Agreement, Nazi Germany was allowed to annex this country's Sudetenland. Answer? 
Answer? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is correct. This long-time Soviet foreign minister signed a 1939 non-aggression pact with Nazi Germany through which Hitler and Stalin divided Poland. Answer? Russia? Uh, no, that's not the name of the ambassador. Go ahead, Mattoon. Need an answer? Italy. No, it's Molotov. All right, from the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, not to be confused with the cocktail. All right, finally, during his three stints as Britain's Foreign Secretary between 1935 and 1955, Anthony Eden was a key ally of this Prime Minister who led the UK to victory in World War II. Churchill. Churchill is correct. Okay. Okay, before we get started again, we've got a new player on the Mattoon side, so I'll just ask you to buzz in and introduce, introduce yourself, please. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Evan Lane. Welcome, Evan. Okay, so now we're going to continue with our toss-ups. This author wrote about Scratchy Wilson, who decides not to shoot a Texas marshal after seeing the marshal's wife in The Bride Comes to Yellow Sky. Jim Conklin's death is depicted in a novel by this man about the soldier Henry Fleming. For 10 points, who wrote The Red Badge of Courage? My tune? Smith. No, I'm afraid it wasn't Smith. Nice try. Buzz. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. Johnson. No, not Smith or Johnson or Wesson or any of those people, but Stephen Crane. All right, so let's go on to the next toss up. So, in 2018, this man needed four playoff holes to win a one-on-one -on -one event in Las Vegas called The Match. At a May 2021 event, this man edged out Brooks Kiepka by two strokes to win the PGA Championship at age 50. For 10 points, what six-time Mattoon? Oh, sorry, Charleston, I apologize. Woods. Uh, no, it wasn't Woods. So, Mattoon, I'll finish the question for you. Uh, what six-time major champion golfer is nicknamed Lefty? Got an answer? Smith. And still not Smith. Good guess. No, it's uh, Mickelson, Phil Mickelson. You need to watch more golf in your life. All right. Tension acts as this type of force. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm skip down, skipping down now to the next toss-up. The creation of this operating system earned Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie the 1983 Turing Award. Mass Mac OS X and later versions are based on this operating system, and so is the operating system created by Linus Torvalds, Linux. Mattoon. Windows? No, I'm afraid it's not Windows. For 10 points, name this operating system used for servers. Charleston. Hear the crickets. I don't answer there. Oh, go ahead. I guess we'll name him Jerry. No, it's a good guess. It's Unix. All right. Okay, we'll clear that one. We'll move on to the next toss-up. In one opera by this composer, an aria sung by Minnie saves Dick Johnson from hanging. This composer of Girl of the Golden West wrote the aria Un Belle Dix for a 1904 opera in which U.S. Navy officer Pinkerton deserts his Japanese wife. So for 10 points, what Italian composed Madame Butterfly? Answer. Verdi. No, it wasn't Verdi. Charleston? Go ahead. Smith. No, I'm afraid, funnily enough, it wasn't an Italian called Smith. Uh, it was Puccini. Okay. Moving on. Next toss-up. After making a speech about a crime against this future state, Senator Charles Sumner was beaten with a cane. In a 1939 movie, a tornado carries a farmhouse. Charleston. Kansas. Kansas is correct. Okay. You have the first crack at these bonuses. Smaller islets or islets in this chain, including Dragonera and Cabrera, are largely devoted to nature preserves. For 10 points each, Name this Mediterranean archipelago and resort hotspot. Its largest islands include Mallorca and Menorca. Oh. 
Need an answer. Crete. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Mattoon. Need an answer. Polynesia. No, you were closer. It was the Balearic Islands. All right. The Balearic Islands belong to this country whose port cities of Valencia and Barcelona provide ferry service to the islands. Charleston? Spain. Spain is correct. Since the 1990s, this second most populous of the Balearic Islands has gained a reputation as a nightlife haven and a mecca for club DJs. Mallorca. I'm afraid it's not Mallorca. Mattoon. Smith. No, it's not the island of Smith. It is Ibiza. All right. Next toss-up. This leader was the intended target of a sapid Giuseppe Zangara, whose bullet killed Chicago mayor Anton Cermak instead. This man succeeded Al Smith as governor of New York in 1928, but resigned when he was elected president in 1932. For 10 points, what president launched the New Deal? Sorry. Roosevelt. Charles? Roosevelt. Which Roosevelt? Franklin. That's correct. Okay. So, you have the first shot at these. The residents of Jarrow Abbey wrote the ecclesiastical history of the English people in the early 8th century. For 10 points each, which monastic historian was known as the Venerable? Need an answer? Douglas. No, it's not correct. Mattoon? Smith. No, it was the Venerable Bede. Okay. Um, Bede's writings are an important source for the Heptarchy, a period of early English history sometimes described using this adjective for two ethnic groups who joined with the Jutes to attack post-Roman Britain. Anglo-Saxon. Anglo-Saxon is correct. Bede had strong opinions about the proper date to celebrate this Christian holiday. King Oswy of Northumbria was already celebrating this holiday while the court of his queen was still fasting and keeping Palm Sunday. Easter. Easter is correct. Okay, moving on to the next toss-up question. Changes caused by this effect allow radar guns to measure speeds. Mattoon. The Doppler effect is correct. Well done. All right, moving on then to the toss-up questions that Mattoon has the first crack at now. Until 2022, this person was the longest-serving head of state in the world. For 10 points each, name this British queen and head of the Commonwealth who served as the monarch of multiple countries for over 70 years. Queen Elizabeth II. That's correct. In November 2021, Elizabeth ceased to be the head of state of this Caribbean nation that became a Republican, or sorry, a Republic under President Sandra Mason. Answer? No? Okay, in that case, Charleston, want to take a crack? Uh, no, it wasn't Jamaica, it was, in fact, Barbados. Finally, Mattoon. While silver and golden jubilees marked Elizabeth's first 25 and 50 years on the throne, her 70th anniversary celebration in 2022 was a jubilee of what precious metal used in catalytic converters? Platinum. Platinum is correct. Well done. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Who said platinum then? Forgive me. Then would you like to answer the question? Platinum. I apologize for... I apologize for messing that up. I, I, thought that you guys, I thought that you guys said it. No, I didn't. Yeah, that's on me. That's on me. All right. I apologize for that. Never mind. You gave them 10 points. That's very generous. All right. Maybe they already knew it. Okay. Next toss up. We're all set. In 2022, this country began fining Apple 5 million euros each week over dating app payment systems. This country's prime minister, Mark Rutte, officially apologized to Indonesia for violence during Indonesia's War of Independence. For 10 points, Charleston. The Netherlands. The Netherlands is correct. All right. Now you have the first crack at these bonuses for 10 points each. Answer the following about divine command theory. 
divine command theory states that an action is ethical if it is commanded by this being. God. God is correct. Um, a version of this divine command theory was presented by this philosopher and bishop of the African city of Hippo, who wrote The City of God and the Confessions. Answer? Philip? No, it wasn't Philip. Mattoon? Mark? No, I'm afraid it was St. Augustine. Um, finally, another version of the theory was developed by John Duns, a scholastic philosopher whose nickname references this country in which he was born. David Hume was also from this country. Answer? The UK? Uh, no, I can't accept that. Mattoon? Britain. No, it's a, be a bit more specific than that. It's Scotland. Okay. At that time? All right. Well, we're done our first half. Let's have a round of applause for our contestants so far. Okay. We've had our break. We've had a, a few substitutions. So just to be sure that all of the buzzers are still working, we'll have the two sides introduce themselves to each other. This time we'll let Charleston introduce themselves first, and then we'll go over to Mattoon. So Charleston. Just for fun and to make sure all the buzzers are still working, since we've moved around a little bit, let's do that. Go ahead. Um, once again, I'm uh, John Peterson, captain of the varsity basketball team, and I forgot this part last night. Our sponsor is Miss Kidwell, and again, and my favorite for Disney princess is Stonek Wild. Pretty good. And your teammates? My name is Mars Brewer, and my favorite Disney princess is Black Panther. Blaine Homan, I'm a junior. My favorite Disney princess is still Cinderella. Dana Van Heis, sophomore. I've changed my mind. My new favorite Disney princess is Emperor Palpatine. Okay. My name is Alex Fitzgerald. I'm a freshman, and my favorite Disney princess is Darth Vader. Okay. All right, and now on to Mattoon. James Connett, currently captaining for Mattoon Varsity, coached by Mr. Wright. My team will be introducing ourselves from left to right, along with our least favorite color, mine being red. Uh, my least favorite color of a door is probably teal. What was your name? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Connor Gurgany. Okay, doesn't like teal. All right. My name is Lincoln Wheeler. I'm a sophomore, and my least favorite color is red. Okay. My name is Robert Hawking. I'm a sophomore, and my least favorite color is red. Hi. Can you guys hear me? My name is Noah Noble. I'm a junior. Um, personally, my least favorite color is probably Lincoln Wheeler. Okay. All right. So, now we are all reintroduced. Buzzers are all working. We continue with the same rules that we started with. Um, I will begin with the next toss-up question. A man in this story dozes in an anteroom until 4 a.m. when his wife is ready to leave a ball. At the end of this story, Jean encounters the impoverished Mathilde Louise, Louiselle, who admits to losing the title object. For 10 points, what Guy de Maupassant story is named for a piece of jewelry? Charleston. The necklace. The necklace is correct. You have the first crack at these bonus questions. An urban legend holds that mathematics was excluded from these prizes because their namesake hated Juste Mittag Leffler. For 10 points each, name these annual prizes awarded mostly in Sweden in areas like physics and chemistry. Nobel Prizes. The Nobel Prizes is correct. This award given every four years, but only to mathematicians under 40, is often cited as, as math's equivalent of the Nobel Prize. Answer? Smith's Prize. I'm afraid it's not Smith's Prize. Mattoon? Fields. Fields Medal is correct. Fields Medal, in fact. Good. All right. Finally, Charleston, another Nobel Prize equivalent in math is named for Niels Abel 
who first fully proved that this degree of polynomials is the lowest one with no general solution. Answer? Zero? No, I'm afraid that's not correct. Matun? Four. No, I'm afraid it was the fifth degree polynomials. Just off by one. Good try, though. All right, next toss-up. Pencil and paper ready. Lorelei needs to know the probability that an event will occur, given the odds against it happening are seven to one. Since seven to one means it occurs only once for every seven times it does not occur, she... Charleston. Six out of seven. Uh, no, I'm afraid that's not correct. I'll complete the question for you, Matun. She computes what probability the event does occur. Go ahead. One in eight. One in eight is correct. Well done. So you get the first crack at these bonus questions. All right. The book Day of Deceit claims that the U.S. had advanced knowledge about this event. Name this event in Hawaii, which a president described as taking place on a date which will live in infamy. Pearl Harbor. Yes, that is correct, the attack on Pearl Harbor. This Asian car country carried out the attack on Pearl Harbor, which brought the U.S. into World War II. Japan. Japan is correct. At Pearl Harbor, a memorial floats atop the wreck of this sunken battleship. About half of the Americans killed in this attack were stationed on it. The Arizona. The Arizona is correct. Well done. All right. Next toss-up. In a February 2022 recall election, voters in this city removed Gabriela Lopez and two other members of its school board who were noted for their progressive views. Mayor London Breed governs what city in California, which is the home of Nancy Pelosi and is in the Bay Area? Matun? San Francisco. San Francisco is correct. So, next set of bonuses that you have the first crack at, Matun. For 10 points each, answer these questions about visits to national parks in 2021. Only a few thousand visits were made to the Gates of the Arctic, a park in the Brooks Range of what state? Alaska. Alaska is correct. The most visited park, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, is on the border between Tennessee and what other state? Need an answer? Kentucky. No, I'm afraid it's not Kentucky. Charleston? Answer? Arkansas? No, it's North Carolina. The second most visited park was what park in Utah, which contains Horse Ranch Mountain and whose trails include Angel's Landing? Arches? No, I'm afraid that's not correct. Charleston, you have a, a chance for this one? Yellowstone? No, it's Zion National Park. Okay, moving on to the next toss-up. In this novel, novel, Maria reveals that she has become a heroin addict while working in a brothel. This novel claims that people who fall into vats are dissolved into Durham's pure leaf lard. The horrors of the Chicago stockyards appear in... Charleston. The Jungle Book? I um, can't accept The Jungle Book, I'm afraid. Uh, Matun? I'll continue the question. Appear in what make muckraking Upton Sinclair novel? Go, sorry. Go the ahead. Jungle. The Jungle, yes. Jungle Books by Rudyard Kipling, slightly different book. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now to the bonuses. For 10 points each, and Matun, you have the first crack at these. Name these musicals about orphans. The girls at Miss Hannigan's orphanage sing, It's the Hard Knock Life in this musical, whose title redhead is adopted by Daddy Warbucks. Annie. Annie is correct. The title character of this 1960 Lionel Bart musical is presented as a boy for sale by Mr. Bumble before he escapes and meets the artful Dodger. Answer? Smith. It is not Smith, the musical, no. Charlton. Oliver Twist. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it is in fact just Oliver with an exclamation mark, so I can't accept that answer, I'm afraid. Um, although that is the character's name, it's Oliver Alone is, is the uh, uh, title of the musical. 
Adapted from a 1992 Disney live action musical, this show's protagonist, Jack Kelly, is an orphan who helps lead a strike among his fellow teenage workers. Answer. Mary Poppins. No, it's not Mary Poppins. Charleston. Newsies. Newsies is correct. Very good. All right. Next toss up. Jacob Rees analyzed this city's slums in the book How the Other Half Lives. This city was devastated by 1863 riots against conscription. Irish gangs in this city controlled neighborhoods like the Bowery. Name this city once governed by the Tammany Hall political machine. Charleston. New York. New York City, that's correct. Okay, so that's one for Charleston, and we go on to the bonuses for that. Charleston, you have the first go at these. For 10 points each, name these shapes. This five-letter term denotes the donut-like shape made by revolving a circle around a line in the same plane as the circle. Answer. Taurus. Taurus is correct. This word means the region between two concentric circles. Answer. Centroid? No, I'm afraid that's not correct. Mattoon? Answer. Circloid? No, it's uh, anolis. In mathematics, sometimes the word cone really means a double cone. That is, two regular cones joined at the apex. In that context, the w this word refers to each half of the double cone. Answer there, Charleston. Cone part? Nope, I'm afraid that's not the answer. Mattoon? Traffic cone. That's a great, a great guess, but completely wrong. It's a nap. And if anyone else in the crowd knew it, I'd be surprised. I certainly didn't, so good try anyway. All right, next toss-up. In film, by this director, teens hang out at the Deuce, which is simply a Sacramento parking lot. In a 2019 film by this director, Mr. Dashwood requests a wo woman's novel be changed so that Professor Bear marries Joe. For 10 points, name this director of Lady Bird and 2019's Little Women. Charleston. Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig is correct. So you have the first crack at these bonus questions. This treatise notes that the best method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to assess the intelligence of his advisors. For 10 points each, name the 16th century political treatise that also notes it is far safer to be feared than loved. Machiavelli. I'm afraid that's not the answer. Mattoon. That's the answer? Smith. It is not Smith. The answer is the prince. That's the treatise. All right. This Italian diplomat described many actions of Cesare Borgia in The Prince. Machiavelli. Now it's Machiavelli. That's correct. Finally, the prince was addressed to a ruler of Florence and member of the Medici family who had, given this, who had this given name. His grandfather, who also had this given name, was dubbed the Magnificent. Solomon? No, it was not Solomon. Mattoon? Alexander? I'm afraid it was Lorenzo. All right, Lorenzo the Magnificent. Okay, moving on to the next toss-up. This island is home to the three holy mountains, one of which is Mount Tate. A large deer population is found in this island's city of Nara. This island is the second most populous island in the world behind Java. For 10 points, what largest Japanese island is home to Osaka and Tokyo? Answer, it is Honshu. All right, moving on to the next toss up. Rotating this curve around an axis can produce a surface of one or two connected sheets. Graphing the function y equals one over x yields this curve, this curve is a conic section with eccentricity greater than one. Mattoon. Hyperbola. Hyperbola is correct. So you have the first crack at these bonus questions. 
This empire was described by the Greek ambassador Megasthenes in his Indica. For 10 points each, name this Indian empire that overthrew the Nanda Empire under Chandragupta. Answer? Smith. It was not the Smith Empire. Charleston? Johnson? No, it was the Maurya Empire. This grandson of Chandragupta conquered most of India and promulgated a series of rock edicts. Smith? No, I'm afraid that's not correct. Charleston? Johnson. It was Ashoka. Ashoka is believed to have converted to this religion after his brutal conquest of Kalinga and is credited with the spread of this religion into Sri Lanka and northwest India. Answer? Hinduism? No, it's not Hinduism. Charleston? Uh, it's not? No, it's... Good guess, it's the other one, Buddhism. All right, okay. Final, final uh, or rather next toss-up question. Um, a feathered headdress named after this ruler is controversially held by the Museum of Ethnology in Vienna. This ruler was supposedly stoned to death by his own people who implored his brother Quitlahuac to succeed him in 1520. For 10 points, Hernan Cortes encountered what Aztec emperor? Charleston. Montezuma. Montezuma is correct. All right, so you have the first crack at these bonuses. For 10 points each, answer these questions about a process that occurs during the S phase of mitosis. In that process, a helicase unwinds what molecule, which is then duplicated at replication forks? Answer. DNA. DNA is correct. Because DNA strands are anti-parallel, DNA replication results in a leading strand and what other more slowly synthesized strand replicated in the three prime to five prime, prime direction? Answer? Tailing strand? Uh, no, I can't accept that. Latoon? Lagging strand. The lagging strand is correct. Finally, because the lagging strand is synthesized discontinuously, what enzyme is required to close the breaks between Okazaki fragments? Telomerase? No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Latoon? DNA ligase. DNA ligase is correct. Well done. Okay. Let's get ourselves organized again. We've had some substitutions, so I will ask the new players who've just come on to buzz in and uh, quickly introduce themselves. So we'll start with Mattoon. Go ahead. My name, <clears throat> my name is Michael Rezzo. Right. And my least favorite color is red. Oh, there's a surprise. Okay. And um, Charleston, you had a couple of players come back, so you want to introduce yourselves again? Josie Worley. Excellent. So Welcome. Here. Alex Kirichesko. Okay, super. Thank you very much. Then we will get going with the next toss-up question. After this event, Kanye West said that the president doesn't care about black people. After this disaster, a statement that FEMA director Michael Brown was doing a heck of a job was made by George W. Bush. For 10 points, many levees in New Orleans collapsed because of what 2005? Charleston. Hurricane Katrina. Katrina is correct. All right, next bonus set. You have the first crack at these, Charleston. After failures in 1886 and 1893, the third bill of this name was successfully enacted in 1914. For 10 points each, give this two-word term for a political movement that called for self-governance self in Ireland. Answer. Irish Republicanism? No, I'm afraid that's incorrect. Mattoon? Irish Independence. Oh, it's the Home Rule Bill, I'm afraid. All right, passing Home Rule was a driving impetus for the Parliament Act of 1911, which severely limited the veto power previously enjoyed by this upper house of Britain's Parliament. House of Lords? House of Lords is correct. The most vehement Irish opponents of Home Rule were from this province, most of which is now in Northern Ireland, 
Belfast is the most populous city in this province. I'm going to guess. Rome. No, I'm afraid it's not that. Charleston? Oh, sorry, Mattoon? Can't get you guys mixed up now. Northern Ireland. Well, Northern Ireland is the, is the country, but the province is Ulster. Okay, moving on to the next toss-up. These organisms have channels called ostea and sclerocyte cells that secrete mineralized spicules. They have a central jelly-like mass called mesoil, but unlike most animals, are not mobile. For 10 points, what organisms in phylum periphera have bodies that, when dried, can absorb water? Mattoon. Sponge. Sponges, yes, correct. All right, so Mattoon, these are your bonus questions first. Four, 10 points each. Answer the following about the Falgu River in India. Some Hindus believe that the Falgu River is an embodiment of this god whose 10 avatars include Kalki. Answer? Vishnu. Vishnu is correct. In the Ramayana, this woman, the wife of Rama, curses the Falgu River. This woman is also rescued from Ravana in that poem. Answer? Krishna. No, I'm afraid that's not correct. Charleston? Shiva? Uh, closer, Sita. All right, so the founder of another religion attained enlightenment and preached the Four Noble Truths after receiving porridge from a woman named Sujata near the Falgu River. Buddha? Buddha is correct. Okay. Next toss-up. In one painting, this artist showed a young girl in a blue dress holding a green watering can. He showed Alphonse Fournay's Jr. in a straw hat leaning against a railing at the left, paint, left of a painting of a meal under an awning. For 10 points, name this painter of luncheon of the boating party. No answer. It was Renoir. Next toss-up. A company named for this man was, founded, was formed in 1614 by merchants from Rouen and Saint-Malo. This man allied with the Huron against the Iroquois. The colony of New France was founded by what explorer whose name is now given to a lake between New York... Charleston. Hudson. No, it's not Hudson. I'll finish the question. Whose name is now given to a lake between New York and Vermont. Mattoon. Go ahead. Smith. No, it's Lake Champlain. It's a very pretty lake if you've never been. All right. Okay, welcome back. We've just had our next, our second time out from Mattoon, and we have a whole new slate of Mattoon players. So I'll ask them to introduce themselves and buzz in to make sure that their buzzers are working and their nameplates are flying through the air. Okay, go ahead. I'm Sophia. Wait. Go ahead. Uh, I'm the captain, Sophia Hoppen. I'm a sophomore. My teammates will be introducing our, themselves left to right. Okay, great. Garrett Gossett, and my least favorite color is yellow. Okay, you need lead your microphone a little bit closer there, Garrett. Okay, and that goes for all of you. Move, move those microphones a bit closer. Okay, go ahead. My name is Callaway Wagoner. Excellent. My name is Maddie Landris. Super. <laughs> My name is Hannah Cat. Excellent. Welcome, all of you. And now we will start the time again as we move on to our next toss-up question. This was the married surname of the Washington Post publisher, Catherine Meyer. This is the last name of the rapper, Drake. The ballet Appalachian Spring was choreographed by a woman named Martha who had this last name. For 10 points, name this, give this name shared by, smacker, by crackers. Sorry. Go ahead. Bell. No, it's not. I'll finish the question. Give this name share, shared by crackers used, used to make s'mores. Graham. Graham is correct. Martha Graham. Okay, very good. So, Mattoon, you have the first crack at these bonuses. For 10 points each, answer the following about the African-American 761st Tank Battalion. 
The Black Panthers, as the 761st was called, landed on this beach during D-Day. This beach and Utah Beach were seized by US forces. You got an answer? Go ahead. Omaha Beach. Omaha Beach is correct. All right. The Black Panthers were part of the Third Army led by this general named, nicknamed Old Blood and Guts. He was criticized for slapping two shell-shocked soldiers in Sicily. Go ahead. Douglas MacArthur. No, it wasn't MacArthur. Charleston? Uh, Patton. It was Patton. Finally, during the Battle of the Bulge, the Black Panthers helped break the siege of this Belgian town where Anthony McAuliffe replied to German surrender demands by writing nuts. Any answer, Matun? Smith. No, it wasn't Smith. Charleston? Charleston. No, it was the Battle of Bastogne. At the end of this novella, a drawing of the loveliest and saddest landscapes portrays a star above the Sahara Desert. A fox defines the word tame in this novella, whose title character loves a rose on asteroid B612. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry wrote what book about a... Matun. The Little Prince. The Little Prince is correct. A play, this is bonus question set, a play titled for this person begins with two prologues, one about the theater and the other about a wager with God. For 10 points each, name this scholar who makes a deal with the devil in a two-part play by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Answer? James Charles. No, I'm... Uh, uh, Faust. Faust is correct, Charleston, yes. God makes a, best, a bet with this demon whose goal is to lead Faust astray. And Matun, you have the first crack. Answer? Satan? No, that's not correct. Mephistoes? Uh, I'll give it to you, it's Mephistopheles, but yes, it's just a pronunciation question. I think you knew who we were talking about. Faust suggests, seduces this woman whose salvation is announced in the closing lines of the play's first part. Go ahead. Maria? It's not Maria. Mary? It's Gretchen. Okay. And that is time. Let's have a round of applause for all of these great players. McDonald's of Effingham and Coles County are WEIU-TV's exclusive supporter of the Coles County Clash Scholastic Bowl. McDonald's of Effingham and Coles County are proud of all the contestants in this program. Enjoy the show from your friends at McDonald's of Effingham and Coles County. <laughs>